Continue our live team coverage tonight with Ryan Kruger. And Ryan, today's threat comes less than a week after a stark warning from the Department of Homeland Security about homegrown violence. That's right, Lindsay, and they were specifically talking about politically motivated homegrown violence. Federal investigators say they're seeing more and more calls for violence online. I love this land. I'll die for this land. Over and over again in Ray Roseberry's Facebook Live videos, he calls himself a patriot while also threatening political leaders. Criminology experts say this is a common way for people to justify violence. There's always been um, in the far right movement and the white power movement sort of a revisionist history about uh, who true patriots are. Dr. Shannon Reed is a professor of criminal studies at UNC Charlotte. She says while January 6th may have been the peak of political violence, it certainly wasn't the end. Even Homeland Security is saying, you know, we need to be aware of this politically driven, ideologically driven, homegrown violence. Reed says a lot of the radicalization of homegrown violence starts online with social media echo chambers. But the difficulty for investigators is figuring out who is the real threat and what signs did we miss. That's what's really hard is, you know, how do we monitor online activity in a way that is actually helping us flag people who are potentially dangerous. And now, the Department of Homeland Security did not have a specific threat when they sent out that warning to state and local authorities, uh, but they did say they were concerned about lone wolf actors. We're live tonight in Charlotte. Ryan Kruger, Fox 46.